I'm Brian Lilly, not getting the whole story from the media party. That is the topic of tonight's byline. What a news story means depends on how you see it, how it's presented to you, and how you interpret that news story depends on well, what was actually presented. Are you getting the whole story? Since we launched Sun News, I've spent plenty of time exposing, exposing the, the blind spots, the agendas, sometimes the outright lies of other media outlets. And that's what I want to talk to you about tonight. The other guys not giving you the full story. CTV National News with Lisa Laflamme led with a breaking exclusive story last night that gave plenty of spin, but left out key facts their top news brass knew all about. Images like this ripped off from the Daily News. Just politicians changing the rules to their advantage. No permission, no problem. The truth about political attack ads. Mm, that sounds serious, the truth of political attack ads. But is it the whole truth? We begin tonight with a move that may seem out of step in a democratic nation that values freedom of the press. CTV News has learned the Harper Conservatives are quietly changing the copyright law to allow political parties to use news footage without permission in campaign ads. Really? Changing the law? Attacking freedom of the press? Yep, that's what CTV claims. Here's their reporter, Lori Graham. An internal conservative cabinet document obtained by CTV News details a hushed amendment to the Copyright Act, which would allow free use of news content in political advertisements intended to promote or oppose a politician or political party, and removes the need for broadcasters to authorize the use of their news content. That last part is interesting. Graham claims there's a need for broadcasters to authorize news or the use of their news content in political ads. And that's not really true. This whole thing is being portrayed by the media party as political parties, specifically the evil conservatives, engaging in the theft of intellectual property. But a short read of the Copyright Act, which would have saved CTV from embarrassing themselves last night, well, that shows that short clips used in an ad, well, that's all legal. It's known as fair dealing or the American term. Fair use, section 29.1 of the Copyright Act, fair dealing for the purpose of criticism or review does not infringe copyright if the following are mentioned. A, the source, and B, if given in the source, the name of the author, uh, in the case of a work, performer in the case of a performer's performance, maker in the case of a sound recording, or broadcaster in the case of a communication signal. A Canadian courts have been taking a very broad view of what's legal in cases like le this. Left-wing legal expert and commentator Michael Geist, no fan of the Conservatives, well, he also takes the view that while he doesn't like the Conservative attack ads, they are perfectly legal. But that hasn't stopped the majority of can Canadian TV news outlets from deciding they won't air ads with news content unless there is written permission from the broadcaster. Why? Well, it all starts with Peter Mansbridge of CBC getting upset that the Conservatives used a clip from his interview with Liberal leader Justin Trudeau, and they called him soft on terrorism. After that ad was released, Mansbridge sent an email to the head of CBC News, Jennifer McGuire. He was complaining about this. He, he obviously didn't want it used. McGuire contacted several other news outlets and asked them to sign on to a common front letter to be sent to all the political parties, telling them, hey, we're not going to run ads with news footage. They didn't invite Sun News Network, by the way. Not sure why, other than we know how to read the law. But they do as well. In an email to the other broadcasters, McGuire admitted that CBC's own lawyers don't believe they can claim that running these ads violates copyright. Here's the email from Jennifer McGuire, March 14th, 2014. In the past, we have all argued against this legally using copyright infringement. Our legal team is confident with the shifts in case law, WRT, with regards to fair dealing. This might not be a successful route. This point about the legality of using the news clips in an ad uh, came up, well, later in the emails. All obtained through access to information. Again, from McGuire, April 2nd, 2014. The goal is to keep news content from being used without permission. In past, we fought this stuff with using legal threats, but shifts... Uh, to laws with regard to copyright and fair dealing have made this a less effective route. This consortium, we think, would limit the activity. Don't you love that? Media outlets forming a consortium to limit free speech. Normally, media outlets go to court to argue for free speech. Now, they're fighting against it. 
And the bizarre thing is, this wasn't the legal departments or the senior bus uh, business management of these broadcasters. These were the people in the news business, the ones always telling governments and businesses that they need to be more open, that we need greater freedom of speech. But here they all are signing off on a letter restricting free speech. You've got Jennifer McGuire from CBC, Troy Reed from Global. We've got Wendy Freeman from CTV. All the power brokers of Canadian news signing off in a letter saying, let's restrict political speech, political speech that does not violate any copyright or the Copyright Act. And that part is important because in the letter, these news power brokers don't make a copyright infringement argument. Here's the letter they sent to all the political parties. As news organizations, the use of our content in political advertisements without our express consent may compromise our journalistic independence and call into question our journalistic ethics, standards, and objectivity. Accordingly, in anticipation of the upcoming elections, we wish to advise that effective immediately, our organizations will not accept any political advertisement which uses our content with our, without our express authorization. Additionally, we will not accept and will cease to broadcast any political advertisement if notified that such advertisement uses any other broadcaster's content without its authorization. Really? I, let me pause for a moment. The broadcaster's signing off saying, yes, you can use this, but not that. That would jeopardize their independence. And let me ask you this. Do you really think that because Justin Trudeau said something stupid on CBC and then it's used in an ad by a political party, that CBC is somehow in cahoots with the conservatives, that they're somehow less ethical? I think they're less ethical because they're trying to shut down freedom of speech and they're doing it to protect Justin Trudeau. That's in the McGuire emails as well. She wrote, as you know, we are already in the preseason of election campaigning. And once again, we're seeing news content in the case of the Justin Trudeau ads, CBC news content being grabbed and used without permission and out of context in attack ads. This kind of activity will hit us all as the election activity heats up. Don't hurt Justin, hurt freedom of speech. That's the media party for you today. I don't know what the government's planning to do. I'm told it's early discussion stage that few people have seen the proposal, but I do know that using news clips is legal and attempts to shut them down. Well, that's an attack on free speech, an attack that itself must be fought. And that's the bylaw.